Hey, MMK here. It's uh, uh, another sad week in the Elvis world uh, for Elvis fans and family uh, with the passing of our good friend George Klein. Uh, going to kind of tell us a story about George. I mean, there's so many, but just kind of want to touch because we're going to really miss him. Uh, and when we was living in California, uh, Priscilla had a dog named Baba. Uh, and George, when I was probably two and a half, and George would give me a toothbrush and, and, and tell me, go brush Baba's teeth. You know, go brush Baba's teeth. And I would chase the dog around, and he, he just got a big, big kick out of it. Uh, George, George did so many things for 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 us and, 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 and my brother. As a matter of fact, uh, his wife Barbara said at one time that we were the only kids that he ever bought Christmas presents for. Uh, and, and, and like I say, just... You know, gonna 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 miss George. So George, rest in peace, and we'll always love you. Uh, now I wanna, I guess, get into some questions. Um, have you ever listened to the music by Lisa Marie, and have you ever gone to one of her concerts? I, I've never gone to a, a a concert of Lisa's. I, I have heard some of her music, uh, some of the songs with her and and, and Elvis uh, blended in. And uh, I, you know, I, I mean, I enjoyed them. Uh, Do you think Elvis would be involved in Dakota's fights? I know 100% Elvis would. That was uh, that was his kind of thing with karate, and then the way it's adapted now with the MMA. Uh, I can tell you, 100%, he would have been behind there, uh, behind Dakota, my net. And I'm sorry for those of you who don't know, Dakota is my nephew. But yeah, he would have been behind him. Uh, would have sponsored him, supported him, uh, and and probably would have, would have figured out some way or another to make some fights. <laughs> was the Cadillac station wagon white with a pink top? It was white. Uh, that's been many, many years ago. I, and I could be wrong. I want to say it had a, a light tan top, but it could have possibly been pink. But but the, the color was definitely white. Do you know who took the picture of Elvis in the casket? Yes, and I think that question's been asked many times, and we may have answered it, but I, I'll be more than happy to answer it again. Uh, that was Billy Mann, another cousin of Elvis's, that, that took that picture. Were you ever in the military? Yeah, I was in the, uh, the military. I was actually in the Mississippi Army National Guard, uh, and I was a 19 Echo, which was a tanker, which what El uh, Elvis was, and that's one of the reasons that that I wanted to be, and I chose that division to be a tanker. Uh, and, and you know, with that being said, that's that's something that really really touches me. I I want to I want to give a big shout out to my brother, who's definitely my hero. But he just received an award for helping rescue a girl uh, from a fire, and uh, I'm very very proud of him. Hey, I love you, brother. Good job. But. With that being said, I, I, I want to, uh, military, law enforcement, firefighters, we, we, take, we take those, I think, for granted every day. And, and, and those guys and gals do more than we could probably ever imagine. And uh, definitely, I don't think, gets paid enough for doing it. But, but definitely want to give a shout out to military, law enforcement, firefighters. Hey. We appreciate you, and I, I hope everybody else will get behind you and appreciate you. Uh, with that, I want to say one more thing. Hey, appreciate all of you watching. And as we always say, we always live Elvis.